everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. There has been a lot of mess going on the Love and Hip Hop Hollywood franchise, and it seems like it's gonna get messier when the reunion comes around. Now, if you don't know the backstory to any of this drama, I'm gonna break it down for you. Now, there's a singer named Omarion, who we all pretty much know from the group B2K, who used to be in a relationship with a woman named April Jones. They did have two children together, however, their relationship did not last, and they ended up splitting up. Now here's where it gets a little messy. April decided to go behind Omarion's back and date his bandmate, Fizz, who we all know as Lil Fizz from B2K. Now Fizz and April tried to keep their relationship on the low. However, Fizz's baby mama, Monice, casually aired them out on social media. But Fizz and April tried to deny, deny, deny. But they couldn't hide their relationship anymore and they finally went public. Ever since they went public, a lot of people have been giving them the side eye because the whole situation in itself is just trifling. Here you have Fizz, who used to be friends with Omarion, and on top of that, he's his bandmate, and now he's messing around with his baby mama. But apparently Fizz doesn't care because according to him, he's not friends with Omarion, therefore he doesn't owe any loyalty to him. How is your relationship with Omarion? Uh, there's no relationship. It's just a working relationship. So you say that you guys have dysfunctional relationships because obviously you guys are different people now, but can you say as a whole that you guys love each other like brothers? Mm, I would say we cool. I ain't gonna go that deep. We'll say it's a it's work business. in progress. Yeah, it's a working relationship and it's a lot of ego involved. So, I mean, if, you know, people can kind of get rid of those and maybe we can Since who has the biggest ego? Probably the lead singer. So you heard Fizz's real feelings about Omarion. He doesn't care about him, therefore he doesn't care about messing with his baby mama. Now I have to say April is really trifling in this situation because she has kids with Omarion. And at the very least, she could give him enough respect to not get into a relationship with his bandmate because that's only gonna make things messier for all three of them. Not only that, Omarion has to stomach seeing his children hang around the guy who betrayed him. That's just not a good look. But apparently April doesn't care. She cares more about parading her relationship around on national TV and also using her relationship for a storyline. And it's really a shame because I used to think better of April. I didn't think she would stoop this low. And I did even feel sorry for her at one point because I thought Omarion just left her out of the blue and completely ignored her. And that's why she was acting out. But apparently there was more to the story than we were aware of. Omarion was actually angry at April because he thought that she was cheating on him. People forget he wrote a record about me. Omarion, it's whatever, promo. So he wrote a record about me three years ago, but now all of a sudden when I put him in a record, it's like, it's such a big deal. He wrote a record about me first, by well, the way. What was that record called? It's whatever mm, he wrote yeah. about me and insinuating that I cheated, which was very false. And you still say silent? I, for three years. Why? Um, because at the time I was trying. Mm -hmm. I was trying. And you got kids. Right. And you did never cheat. I never cheated. No, that's not the reason why we broke up. You can listen to the record and it insinuates kind of what happened in that. Okay. But it's just like, man, I can't be seen around nobody. People thought I was screwing the game. Well, the one thing I will say. When that's we, true though. Uh, one thing I will I remember that. Remember? They did say but that. Because I was twerking by some tacos. I yeah. couldn't but, even live my life. The, the game, I f*** the game. Okay. You know what happened to the game? He's right here. He texted me today. Happy Mother's Day. I f*** your pussy. That's what the game said. Insane. Yeah. Insane. Get out of here. The game texts me all the time. <laughs> they just love him. And that nigga texts me. He loves me. Now I can see why Omarion thought April was cheating, especially after she went on this drug-induced rant of all the celebrities she was messing with. So that puts things into perspective. I don't believe Omarion just got up and left the relationship. Something had to trigger him to do that. And I'm not gonna say he was 100% blameless because we don't know what he did in the relationship to cause it to fail, but April is not innocent and she was messy enough to mess around with his bandmate. Now I'm gonna kind of switch gears a little bit and talk about the Love & Hip Hop reunion. Now I did hear some reports from the Jasmine brand that the Love & Hip Hop Hollywood reunion got really ugly. In fact, Lil Fizz and his baby mama Monice almost got into a physical altercation. Not only that, there was some tea that was spilled that Omarion's group member from B2K, Jay Boog, 
slept with his mother, Leslie. Now, when I read this, I was like, what in the world? So you mean to tell me? Omarion has a bandmate who's sleeping with his baby mama, and he had another bandmate who slept with his mother? I, I can't. I can't. Now, I don't know how true this is. This is some alleged information from a source who was there at the Love & Hip Hop Hollywood reunion. But if this is true, this is a huge, huge bombshell. And I can now see why Omarion doesn't really mess around with his group members like that. Because how can he be cool with them and he can't trust them? There's no loyalty, no trust, no love at all that's there. They're just co-workers. Like Lil Fizz said, they are not friends. They are literally just co-workers. And at this point, the only band member who at least respects Omarion is Raz B. Is that real? That April is dating Fizz? I don't really know what's going on with that, you know? But one thing I do know, I know Omari provided that opportunity for Fizz. So if that is true, I mean, you know, I mean that that'd be some funny energy over there. Yeah, but I, really but I wouldn't, energy. but I wouldn't point the finger at, at the homie. I would point the finger at the girl. Yeah, I mean, girls if that, always if, get, if that if that story is real, girls that, always and, get the finger pointed at as you. I mean, it. you know, but it takes two to tangle. You know what I mean? So, but anyway, I mean, if it was me, and you know, I, hypothetically, we're speaking for the purpose of the conversation. I would nothing. I wouldn't do nothing like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? It's just a rumor. And speaking of Amari, he allowed for me to meet his kids, which I thought was really phenomenal. He's a great, he's a great guy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm happy for him. It's good to know that Raz B and Omarion are cool despite their rocky past, but it's sad to know that the others aren't cool. And I really hope that rumor about Jay Boog sleeping with Omarion's mom is not true because that's trifling on another level. That's trifling on Jay Boog's part and it's trifling on the mom's part. The whole situation is just messy. And it's also messy to see what Fizz and his baby mama Monice are going through because ever since Fizz started dating April, it has been harder for Monice and Fizz to co-parent. According to Monice, Fizz is not really communicating with her and he allegedly is making her son feel like he has to lie to her and she's not here for this because she wants her son to be open and honest with her. Also, Monice has said in the past that Fizz sometimes doesn't tell her about her son's whereabouts. And it kind of puts her on the edge because she wants to know about her son's whereabouts. She wants to know what he's doing, where he is, and who he's being exposed to. So she has a right to be concerned, but unfortunately her relationship with her baby daddy, Fizz, is not really healthy, so they can't effectively co-parent. And to make matters even more complicated, April is inserting herself in their drama. So it's causing a lot of tension between all three of them. You guys saw me, Walker. Y'all don't have a friendship. No, we don't. Right. What's going she on? She wants to have a conversation with you. She feels like you owe her a conversation for what? No. Bottom line, when you're ready to have a conversation with me as the mother of your child, About without what? your sidekick, About then we'll what? talk. Then I hit my lawyer like, yo, send me this. Send me this custodial agreement because I could swear I'm not tripping. She sent it to me. I text Drew the holiday regulations. He never said a word. Next time I pick Cameron up, all of a sudden Cameron hates me. He doesn't want to live with me. I'm trying to keep him from his dad. His dad's trying to take him to the snow and I said he can't go. Like, bro, really? That's what you told the kid? The f so none of this is April's issue. And that's why I was able to be cool with April after. We didn't go bad again till that scene at the skating rink. She followed me outside like, oh, I just came to check on you. I don't owe anybody an explanation. Don't backpedal now, bitch. I, was, I walked up and y'all told the group, you don't have to tell me sh I've never asked. But for us to both be doing our job and for me to walk up and for y'all to walk away and like, just dismiss me and diss me like I didn't do sh so yeah when a group of castmates are like oh yeah they came out there living together whoop 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 okay congratulations then it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit tv anyway so what does it matter if I say it <laughs> who cares that's why because she came talking about oh, I came out to check no you don't you don't give a f come to check on me you would have a conversation with me inside the skating ring I don't need to talk to you. I just need to talk to my BD. What, for what? What do you guys have to talk about? You're not friends. I don't know. Maybe the fact that we have a whole child. 
my issue now is that you have a baby daddy that you swear has put you through everything my baby daddy has put me through. Allegedly. So I would think you would be more understanding. You also would like to have healthy communication with the father of your children, would you not? That's what you you've been saying. So why can't I have healthy communication with the father of my child? Why is that a why is that such a I don't oh, you guys aren't friends. Like what the I don't have to be friends. I don't want to be friends. I just want us to be able to be friendly for the sake of the kid. Like nobody said let's be homies. <laughs> so as you heard, there's a lot of tension between Monice Fizz and April and I can see why Monice feels the way she does because she feels like she's being ganged up on by Fizz and April and April should understand her situation because she has communication problems with her baby daddy too but now everybody is turning on Monice and not only that it seems as if Fizz is turning her son against her so I totally understand why Monice feels the way she does I do but I do think Monice and Fizz need some therapy. They at least need a mediator to help facilitate some communication between them because their relationship will continue to be toxic if they don't. But anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.